Hey, how you going everyone? Um, I thought I'd do a series of videos today, kind of like a devlog slash tutorial for uh, 3D Logo. So Game Dev Toy Box is a project that I'm working on for the community that I'll eventually release when I'm happy with the sections I'm at. Excuse me. <laughs> and um, I was thinking today that I needed to make a logo for it, uh, for Discord and the actual Unreal Engine project itself. So I figured I'd just go through this, the process of making a 3D logo in form of a devlog, but it can be treated as a tutorial. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is a previous one that I've done with the exact same method I'm going through today. Um, basically, I just use default Maya and uh, Photoshop. Um, in Photoshop, I just use a lot of layers and overlay, so basically when you're in Maya, you'll add ID maps. Um, what I mean by ID maps is just materials that are a bright color, like uh, like a bright green, a bright yellow, a bright red, and then sectioning off the parts that I wanted to change the colors. And then you render shadows on the objects based off a of light in Maya. Uh, like a, uh, by render, I mean like you render an image, like a 3D image, and you do the ID. Uh, map as a render, you do the shadows as a separate render and you basically drag those into Photoshop as layers on top of each other and then you just use colouring and uh, uh, opacity transparent textures that you can find on the internet or draw and that's pretty much how you end up with this very basic stuff. Um, so you can follow along if you have Blender and a free software equivalent to the basics that Photoshop has. So like uh, changing opacities, adding layers, and that's pretty much it. Um, you have to have experience in Blender and the free software, I know nothing about it. If you've got like the basics experience and know how to use it, you, you'll be able to follow along no problem. You just need to find the equivalent, whether that's placing cameras or using the render and so on. So this is the end result that I got for a game that I was working on that I shelved. Um, and yeah, yeah, looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna make uh, a logo using the same method uh, for the toy box. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do um, is we'll get a text in. Uh, obviously, I'm using a, oh, let's just add a material. That's really strange. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just use a, uh, the, what do you call it? Go to create, uh, type add a type. So basically it generates 3D text. I'm using um, currently uh, Unreal Engine's uh, directions, so let, uh, X forward, Z up. So that's why I'm having a bit of issues with this. Um, so just follow along anyway. If you're using the Unreal method like me, just follow along. If not, it should just work straight away. You probably notice that this is flat and it's meant to be uh, extruded out. That's because of the up direction I'm using, like I said, with uh, Unreal Engine. So let's go to Attribute Editor. We'll go to Type up here. And I just want to center this. And I also want to extrude this out because it's being silly. How thick do I want it? About that. That looks good. I want to go to Geometry here and I want to reduce the number of divisions which is down the bottom here under extrusion. So we'll just get rid of that. That looks good. And now I just want to look for a good font. Let's find the font that you want to use for your project. So I'm just going to type in comic. Let's have a look. What else is there? D. Does it have a different? No, it doesn't. What's light in there? Don't like that. No. What do I like? That's a bit thicker. Let's see what it looks like. So, Game Dev Toy Box. Game Dev's Toy Box. See, this might wig out a little bit uh, when typing, so you can just go back into text and uh, recenter it. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see what it looks like with the other one, though. Oof, it's kind of more clean. We'll go with the clean one, that's fine. So the next thing you want to do is you want to separate, so highlight all of this, and you want to go up to Mesh and you want to separate it into individual letters. So we'll just highlight them again and go back into Mesh and Combine. So each word is the same thing. Highlight, I press G to do the previous tool used, G. And then I just want to click out and 
delete all by history and let's name let's name these I'm just having a think here because there'll be a back plate so for now let's just uh, group these uh, we'll, we'll come back to them uh, actually let me think we'll just call this text for the group I said we're going to come back to them but let's at least name them game devs Box. Now what I'm thinking at the moment is um, I might basically because we're making a logo we've got to figure out where we want the letters to sit in terms of like um, let me minimize this see how I have uh, this this red things like the back plate and the text obviously there's not a, <laughs> a lot of words here but you, you've got to think about how you want your spacing so for this, I might uh, go to all cameras, just press F by hovering over each one. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so this one's the front by the looks of it. So let's um, highlight these. I'll go to modify, center pivot. Let's just um, go up. It's not liking that. Um, Let's just go back, sorry. Highlight these both. I'm just going to group them for now. Select the group. Uh, while the group's selected, I'm going to center. So yeah, that's one way to do it. So hold X and we'll go up and we're just going to center these text here. Click this one on, just X again, just center it. And kind of decide how I want this to kind of be laid out. I think that's good for positioning, but I'll just make this a bit smaller. Move it up slightly. How does that look? Yeah, just a little bit bigger. Just mess with. Oh, where's the group? Just, uh, how do I like that? Let's highlight everything. And we'll just make it a bit. Oh. So let's um, click on these. We're going to freeze the transforms and we're just going to get these back into text by holding middle mouse. Let's delete that group. Um, select that again and we'll just make that a bit bigger. Yeah, I think that looks kind of good. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to do the back face. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is create a cube. Um, when using the Unreal Engine method, so uh, Z up, uh, X forward, um, if you're normally using the, I think it's Y up, Z forward? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, method, oh, uh, sorry, the default in Maya, normally the, um, the, the grids in centimeters, and when you export it out, uh, let me give you an example. File, export selection, let's get down. Uh, normally when you export it out, um, you have this scale factor and when you like change it, it will increase depending. Um, when using the default for Unreal Engine, you just leave it like this. Um, but I'm not exporting into Unreal Engine. Um, so you could probably even go automatic um, and it follows what you had the settings up here. Um, otherwise you can just change it. So yeah, it's meters, so we'll just go for that. So yeah, one of these cubes is the... Um, Unreal Engine size cube, and as you can see, this is obviously a bit smaller. So I'm just going to make this 10 uh, to make it match up. So let's see if I can go up one. All right, let's just um, we'll go to the front. That's not the front, that's the front. Okay, and we want to do our best to kind of get this behind so let's get that about here and just give me a second I'm just looking at my notes yeah da, da, da. so we're going to get a cube and then we're going to select the edges so and extend this out like so I'm going to extend this up like so let's just uh, make sure we're in Oh, that's a good point. So let's select these and change uh, the material. I've got a 
uh, what do you call it, a, a blin here. Uh, this is generated when you do the text. Um, it should have automatically been blin when you did it, so ignore what I just did. Let's go back to the front. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select devs. Oh, let's fix the order of this up just so it makes it a bit easier. So let's select these two again. I'm going to regroup them. And I'm just going to center. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm just going to make sure that this is in line. So I'm going to do that and select that. And I'm just going to have it how I wanted it. Roughly. Let's leave a bit of space. That looks good. So let's just freeze the transforms again and why these two are selected middle mouse and drag back into text and delete that group. I'm just gonna make sure everything's not busted. Delete history once more. Alright, so now we can go back into the normal camera and edge mode and select these two edges. And I'm just going to go over to the modeling toolkit here. Ah, oh, that's in Maya Classic, it should be there. Um, and we're just going to bevel those. Alright, so now we can get a good look at what it's roughly going to look like shape wise. So let's just um, extend this out a bit more. Like so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Uh, now we go from behind. Oop, I've got symmetry on for some reason. So let's go that. Delete the back face because um, obviously this is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, a logo you won't be seeing behind it. Yeah, that looks good. And let's just quickly isolate this. Uh, mesh and go to mesh tools and multi cut. Or you can just go down here to multi cut. And we just want to connect. Um, these here so you don't get any n-gons when you're trying to do lighting. Yep, that looks good. Alright, just let me go over my notes again. Let's select all the faces, and we want to extrude. We just want to pull this out just a little bit, and then we want to change the offset. Um, to go in like so. Let's have a look a bit more. Press G while those are selected, so to redo the extrude, we want to go in, and I want to mess with the offset just a little bit more, just so like yeah, like that. A little bit, uh, like that. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just going to press three. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks kind of good. Press one to go back. Yeah, looks pretty good. Alright, so we go object modes, we're going to go back to multi-cut, and when you hold alt, it does a basically a cut through the whole thing. Uh, we want it to emulate on the other side, so if we're using Unreal Engine, we're going to symmetry Y. Is that right? Yep. And we just want to add some um, extra lines here for when it smooths out, um, just so it's got a more smooth looking shape and there isn't any artifacts, so we're just going to go one in there, one there each side of it. Each side, each side. That looks good. We want to go one in the center here. And we want to go in the middle. So for the middle, go to Tools, Insert Edge Loop. I just tick uh, Use the Equal Multiplier. And I set this to one. Perfect. And then just do this in the center. For some odd reason, that doesn't look centered. So I'm going to select the edge and just hold down. Uh, R and just do that. Why did it do that though? That's really weird. Let's just double check what it's doing. It's doing something here. Where did that come from? Alright, 
so we're just going to go back. Something's happened with the extruding, so we're just going to clean this up and just see what it does. Uh, mesh, clean up. We're going to go to the options. Actually, I'm not going to go to the options. I'm going to go, I'm just going to merge, do a basic merge. Um, where are you? Edit mesh, merge. I'm just going to do the default just so it doesn't actually change anything. Just make sure everything's all good. Yeah, that looks good. That's really bizarre. Is there anything going on with these edges? No. All right. All right. So, all right. Let's try that again. <laughs> so, we're going to go mesh tools, multi cut. Let's just make sure it's doing what it's supposed to. No, it's not. It's whatever's happening there. So I'm just going to leave that out for now. Actually, Control Z. We're going to switch to Z. Yep. And then I'm going to uh, turn that off. And then go back to the tools. Uh, insert edge loop again. There we go. Ah, it's doing it again. I know how I can fix that. If it's doing it for you, um, we'll just fix it this way. We're going to delete those faces. I'm just going to select the edge the whole way around. And we're just going to extrude. And let's go back. Actually, hold shift and then extrude. Yeah. So basically what it is, I just held shift and put it in extrude mode and I'm just dragging it back like that. Um, it's not liking something. All right, so that's cool, that's all good. So let's just press three. Yeah. All right, so what we got to do by the looks of it is add another multi-cut in the center here. Let's see how that looks. Three. Yeah. One, get back edge. We'll select this edge again, we'll do another bevel. Go back to object mode, let's just take another look. Just gonna go around and just make sure this comes clean. Mesh display, set vertex normal, set to face. I want to use soft harden edges. Hmm, looks pretty good. How's the smoothing? Yeah, it's getting there. So we'll just leave that for now. Um, now we'll go to the back. We'll just uh, make this a bit larger. Go back to object mode, press 3. No. I want to keep going with the back. Just a little bit more. 3. Oop. I pressed um, 4 by accident. 3. Yep, looks pretty good. Press 1 to go back. Now how's it looking? 1, looks pretty sweet. Uh -huh. yeah. We'll just call this back plate. Uh, I think I might just make it a bit wider like that. 
Freeze the transforms. G to do that for those. Let's just hide that for now. Alright, so let's just go over what to do next. So, for the next thing, I'm going to do like a ribbon down the bottom here um, that kind of goes to the sides, I guess. And to do that, we'll just do a plane. Where's the front? That's the front. Shift that round and then just click on it. I'm going to go on the attribute editor and we want to change uh, polyplane. Is it polyplane? Plane one, plane shape. All right, channel box polyplane. Okay, we're going to change uh, start the width to two by the looks of it. Wait, let's get in close. F. Yep, we just want to center. Uh, center part and we want to change this just to one yeah that's perfect so let's uh, go into front view again and we just want to bring this up to try to get it centered uh, uh, yeah that looks good to me uh, we just want to R to make this bigger let's go into this and just About. Yeah, it's okay if we've got a bit of overlap. So we're just going to have this kind of just peeping out the top. Yeah, alright, let's just go over the notes real quick. Alright, so the first thing we want to do into this mode and we want to we want to turn symmetry on I want it to be that way so it's Y and I'm just going to select this edge that's no, not doing it so let's try a different X no Y no X oh that's really bizarre it's making it as X oh well whatever and then I just want this to kind of go back a bit. Mm. Now it's not very ribbony. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go into the tools again and we're going to go insert edge loop. I'm just going to do this in the center for both sides. Uh, the X should have done that for you. So let's try that again. Just select that. Just going to make that go back a bit. Yep. And then we're just going to hold shift drag this out again like that I'm just going to kind of that's how that looks Ooh. yeah looks good extrude that oh not extrude that I'll just pull it forward a little bit oh we can so we can kind of see it here and from above uh, what's going on so the angle want a bit of yep and then uh, we want to extrude so hold shift again and we want to drag this across like so like all right let's check my notes on here all right so then Uh, let's hide this text, it's kind of in the way. Hide. Yep, that again. We want to hold shift. And we just want to drag that forward like that and kind of come across. Yep. 
Yep, that looks good. Actually, I'm just going to select the face and I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. Yeah. Just so it. Actually, no, I'll leave it like that. And what I'll do is I'll actually shrink this one. So let's go edge and have to bring that in a little bit, just a little bit like that. So I just kind of want this to be a square, if that makes sense. And then go like that, and we'll just bring this over here. And so it looks like that. So it's kind of curving in. That's fine. And then extrude, hold shift again, and we'll just go out this direction. Yeah, that's good. Hold shift again, we're going to go out this way. Yep, hold shift again about this way, but this time we're just going to have outward a bit like that, and then hold shift again, and so on. So we've sort of got like a little ribbon thing going. Uh, let's just go to object mode and hit 3, see? Looks kind of cool, eh? Alright, so let's just go back into... Ah, it's because I hit it. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I might start another one. Do what you want for this, guys. Go back to one. Okay. And then, when that's done, let's add a... Insert edge loop in the center, like so. And then we're just going to select... Um, this here and just like so. So when we press 3, it's gonna get this cool little effect. Let's go back to vertex mode and we just want to select the these three and we'll just hit B. And just hold Oh gosh I've forgotten now. Um oh yeah, hold B and uh left click. We just want to kind of extend that out a bit. Just want to lower up. No, we'll go down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, hold B again. do. Yeah, 
that looks kind of sick. Alright, so now, now that we've got this, I'll just hit W again and go to vertex one last time and just do the center, just so it's kind of almost going forward a little bit. Object mode, just move that back slightly, go back into vertex mode, just pull it forward a bit more. Yep, object mode back. And now we just want to, um, we want to extrude this uh, one last time, like the whole thing. So let's just go forward in thickness. Alright, let's have a look. It's alright if it clips a little bit on the front, that, that's perfectly fine. See what it looks like with um, soft hardened edges. Do I want to go stylized or do I want to go? What's this other back plate look like? Yeah, I want to go three. What's three look like for you as well? Mm -hmm. All right, let's just uh, hide that again. So what we definitely want to do is we want to fix these edges up. Uh, not fix, but we want to um, add uh, some of these cuts in again. So let's go Y, so top and bottom. No. X, no, Z. Okay, it's not treating it like such. Uh, let's try that. We're just going to go through and see which ones um, want to work for us. Alright, so since it's not doing it like I wanted to, I'm just going to go back to before I, I extruded it. Alright. Object. Ah, it's doing that because the faces are reversed for some reason, so mesh reverse. Okay, there we go. So let's just fix that while we're here. Let's try this again. Why? Hmm. Okay. If that doesn't work, let's delete the history. Uh, try that again. Z, X. So X is working. Z. Okay. I think I know why it's because this part's higher and it's, it just doesn't like it, um, which is fine. All right, so let's um, just do our best here. Um, hmm. This is going to give me grief. Set to face. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry guys, I'm just troubleshooting. Sometimes Maya just likes to break. Actually speaking of, I'm going to save this. Uh, save scene as, yep, game toy, toy box save. Yes. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Is it because? I'm going to do the ye old. Ah, that's why, because it doesn't like symmetry, um, especially when it's not working. Let's go, let's just merge everything. Let's see if that helps merge. I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, back to the multi-cut. You see, see, see what it's doing? It's been... Yeah, we'll 
let's get on armored with this. Let's clean this up, let's see if that's the problem. That is truly bizarre. Alright, so let's try a different tool. Ah, yeah, that's right, because cleanup um, doesn't like um, merge. So when you hit merge, it always wants to clean up. So let's try that again, merge once more. Let's turn that brush off, go to edge, back to that. Hmm. I'm just going to have to go back, something's happened. So the beginning, let's just quickly save that. Sorry guys, mine's having a moment. Multi-cut, bingo. Does it still do it? No, okay. So something's happened uh, after this process, which is really weird. X, Z. Okay, so it's not gonna do it again anyway, but that's fine. So let's just clean all this up again. I'm just gonna add in. this now. Oh, as you can see here we're running into that error. So we'll just uh, go back again. Go back into normal mode. We're going to extrude this out. Yeah. Looks good. Alright, now let's do that again. So that's that. And that. Let's just bevel that. We'll sp spread it a little bit out of segment. Now I'm just going to bring these together a bit. Actually, that should be fine. Let's leave it. Let's have a look. Yeah, much better. Have a look at the back plate. Three. Put a center line in here. Might look good. Mesh tools, multi cut. Ah, oh, not multi cut. Let's do it inside edge loop. So it's centered at least. Yeah. Um, we'll go R. Uh, we'll go B. Just a bit. Actually, I'll go to vertex and we'll just we'll make it kind of stylized. Ish. Keep that flat. How's 
from the front. Shrink it a bit. That's pretty good. Sorry, it's going over my notes. Hmm. I think this is missing something, and I, I'm just going to call this the, uh, the, the word the. So I'm just going to bring in another bit of text, like so. We're going to rotate this up, rotate this to the side, and bring that up here. Yeah, go on to type. Let's just type in the. I'm gonna center it. Ooh, I'm potato. Uh, let's go comic. Yeah. Gonna extrude this out. See if we can just match it as close as possible. It's fine if it doesn't. This is entirely up to you. This should have been done at the start, but I've just changed my mind, uh, my, my mind um, from being indecisive. So let's just go to the center. Yeah. Uh, object. Let's just shrink this down. So I'm just deciding it's kind of, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't at the same time. again just make that up Nah, I'm not, I'm not liking this at all. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I tried so hard. But I do like how much bigger that is. Let's just uh, mess with that a little bit. Okay. Uh, 
let's um freeze the transforms on this and we'll just get these back into the text delete that what's this uh, ribbon if I can spell if I can't spell who cares uh, game devs toy box save I'm thinking maybe select all these I know there's a way to Form. Deform, wrap, no. Curve. I'll figure it out. We'll just call it um, the end of part one and I'll continue this in the next video. So, yeah, this is what we've got so far. So, it's looking pretty good. I um, hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and I'll see you in the next one.